I'm here to welcome you tonight to Living the Promise as a way of highlighting some of the most exciting research that's happening at UC Riverside. The symposium that we're having this evening is about renewable nature. So with that, I'd like to introduce and welcome uh, Susan Strait. She's our hometown hero. And uh, today she's going to perform for us a live reading from her essay entitled, The River in Me. When you grow up as a child of the dry, in Southern California where water has always been as valuable as melted silver in the irrigation ditches, the river calls you. The Santa Ana River is part of my genetic heritage. Wild opposite to celebrated waterways, the Santa Ana, in its wildness, so close to us, in the interstice between civilization and non-civilization, between us and nature. We started with the idea of the Gaia hypothesis, which is that the Earth is a self-sustaining system and it's self-adjusting. So it regulates different processes to keep um, the globe flowing. So I'm going to start with Emma. Do you believe that Gaia hypothesis is correct? Is the Earth a self-correcting system or are we approaching a tipping point? Yes, the Earth is a self-correcting system. Uh, however, there are certainly tipping points and I think uh, it is anyone's guess whether or not we are about to hit one or if it's many, many years or even hundreds of years, millennia down the road. And so I think uh, a lot of the research that we're doing is a, a helping us to approach these things. Well, I think in, in terms of tipping points, you know, we're monitoring so much of, of the natural processes of the earth now. And so what we're really looking at are rates of different processes. And so I think evidence of a tipping point would actually be if we saw a dramatic change in that rate. In 2014, hundreds of thousands of people came out and marched in protest and recognition about climate change. And when I first started studying the environment and studying the politics of climate policy and uh, climate action, nobody even knew what it was. But um, what happens when we recognize some of the things that Susan was talking about, when we recognize that the things we love are disappearing? I think that technologically, people have to take science and scientific efforts and match that with engineering and come up with completely different ways in which we're going to handle our waterways, uh, water and how it's used, in, uh, certainly in California and, and greater than the world. So technologically, what we need are pretty much people from every field of science getting involved in the environment. The Living the Promise, that idea gives us hope. And hope springs from the university. The university is knowledge and it's people, right? It's, it's the chance to impact young lives, to, to uh, change the world one person at a time. And remember, as Susan told us in her story, uh, together we can accomplish much. <laughs>